It is time for more science, alcoholic science. In a previous episode, I carbonated water and measured the amount of carbon dioxide that dissolved in it. I weighed it. And it came in at three grams for half a litre of water. And then I carbonated white wine and it came in at six grams of carbon dioxide for half a litre of wine. Uh, and now I thought, let's take it to the max. Let's get some potent moonshine, not real moonshine, and carbonate it to see how much carbon dioxide it takes. So this is basically a 70% ethanol solution, which I think is a reasonable enough emulation, which would be classified as 140 proof. And I've got it already in this little bottle. I'm just going to weigh it right now and tell you the weight of it before we carbonate it. And it's coming in at 538 grams. That's the uh, moonshine and the bottle. So we'll weigh it afterwards, making a note of putting the cap back on. Let's see what happens when I carbonate it. So here is the soda stream. Let's pop that out. Shove the moonshine on. What a complete waste of moonshine, but not to worry. Uh, maybe it's an excellent thing to do with moonshine. And let's carbonate. At this point, I should say that Soda Stream don't recommend carbonating moonshine. I don't think MD recommends carbonating moonshine. You're only supposed to carbonate water. They're missing out on so much business. That's taking a lot of carbon dioxide. Is it going to stop? Getting worried. Is the pressure safety release valve working? Probably. Oh, this is ridiculous. Oh, that's the first of the fartulations. Let's go for the triple fartulation standard. That's the second one. That's the pressure release valve. And that's the third one. Is it going to foam? I don't think it's going to foam. It's looking a bit strangely cloudy and ominous. Names for uh, moonshine. It depends where you are in the world. In Scotland, it's called Peat Reek. In uh, Ireland, it's called Pusheen. I don't think the Isle of Man has a name for it. I don't even think England has a name, specific name for it, other than just moonshine. Well, that's, uh, that's taken the carbon dioxide. There's actually fog coming out the top of it. Can you hear it? Not the fog, the, the bubbles. Uh, okay, the weighing scales are back on. And now it weighs... 549 grams, 549 grams, so got the kink calculator here, 549 grams minus the original weight of 538 grams equals 11 grams, uh, so that's 11 grams, which is basically twice what the wine took, uh, which means that in a full litre of liquid, it would take over 20 grams. It would take 22 grams. Now, I, I kind of have to taste this. One moment, please. I have my Glen Cairn glass, and I'm ready to try this carbonated moonshine. I'm not sure why, because basically speaking, this is like drinking sanitizer or circuit board cleaner. Oh, look at the fog rolling out. That is just weird. It's trying to liberate. I, I'm not going to drink all that. that it, that's enough to clean an entire circuit board. Ooh, fizzy. Mm. <laughs> oh, no. Too strong. Too strong. Oh, God, no. So uh, that answers that then. It absorbs quite a lot of carbon dioxide, but should you carbonate moonshine? And the answer is, oh, God, no. No, don't carbonate moonshine. It's a terrible idea.